So the chess of Kent, the oldest living member of the British royal family, has rarely appeared in public in recent years. Her last official public appearance was at the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Despite leading a more private life, the Duchess continues to influence the younger generation. She raised three children, George Windsor, Earl of St. Andrews, Lady Helen Taylor, and Lord Nicholas Windsor, along with ten grandchildren, including the well-known Lady Amelia Windsor. However, her influence has extended far beyond her family, as she chose to dedicate herself to teaching music at a regular school, starting in 2002. So the chess, whose full name is Catherine, made the decision to step back from many of her royal duties in order to follow her calling of teaching children music. In her role as a teacher, she maintained her anonymity, with only a few knowing her royal status. She explained in an interview with The Guardian in 2014 that she was known only as Mrs. Kent and was pleased that her status remained a secret. This decision was unusual for a member of the royal family, but it allowed her to fulfill her important mission of bringing the joy of music to children from less privileged backgrounds. Catherine explained that her decision to forgo royal privileges was supported by Her Majesty the Queen, so there was nothing I wanted to hide from. It was just something that happened in my life. I've always been, I wouldn't say proud of it, but content with taking that step. I was supported in it. The Queen said, yes, do it, and I did. Her role as a music teacher brought her immense satisfaction and she dedicated herself to instilling a love of music in children. It's a privilege, she noted in an interview with the BBC in 2004, highlighting the significance of her work. Her decision to become a teacher was indeed an unconventional choice for someone so close to the throne. However, Catherine Worsley, born in 1933, has always followed her heart. She grew up in North Yorkshire at the family estate, Hovingham Hall, as the fourth child of Sir William Arthington Worsley, fourth baronet, and his wife Joyce Morgan Brunner. Despite her royal connections, her lineage has Republican roots her family traces back to Oliver Cromwell, the leader of the anti-royalist army during the English Civil War. This added an ironic touch to her eventual meeting with Queen Elizabeth's cousin, Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, in the 1950s. Despite their contrasting family histories, they announced their engagement in March 1961, with their wedding following in June of the same year. Catherine was never one to shy away from breaking traditions. Her wedding took place at York Minster, a location that had not hosted a royal wedding for over 600 years. She chose this venue despite the more common locations such as Westminster Abbey or St. George's Chapel. Her wedding gown, designed by John Cavanagh under the advice of her mother-in-law, Princess Marina was a true 1960s masterpiece with a long skirt and a 15-foot train. Concerns arose about the weight of the dress, which required Catherine to rehearse her curtsy multiple times. She also borrowed a tiara from her mother-in-law's collection, which was later worn by her daughter, Lady Helen Taylor, at her own wedding. The wedding brought together royalty from across the globe, with guests including Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, the Duke of Edinburgh, and King Charles. The future King of Spain, Juan Carlos, also met his bride-to-be, Princess Sophia of Greece and Denmark, at the event. Despite being an active participant in royal life, in 1978, Catherine faced some health challenges, including celiac disease and the Epstein-Barr virus, which led her to reduce her public engagements. This was a difficult time for the Duchess, but she remained resilient and continued to show strength in overcoming her challenges. Especially difficult for her were the moments related to the loss of children. 
In 1975, she faced complications during pregnancy and could not continue, and two years later, her son Patrick was stillborn. In a 1997 interview with The Telegraph, Catherine shared how these events affected her, helping her to develop a deeper empathy for those who faced similar hardships. The Duchess also made history in 1994 by converting to Catholicism. This was a significant move for a member of the British royal family, though it did not affect her husband's royal role. Her son, Lord Nicholas, and grandchildren later followed her into the Catholic faith after the 2015 repeal of the Succession to the Crown Act. The Duchess has remained in the public eye. In 1999, she garnered attention during Wimbledon when she requested a seat in the royal box for the son of a grieving friend. Although the request was declined, she continued to support tennis events. Today, the Duchess lives a quieter life but still makes appearances at significant family events, such as her husband's birthday celebration at Wren House. Her contributions to nurturing the next generation, her compassion, and her human touch continue to inspire admiration. In interviews, she remains candid and open, sharing her love of music, including an unconventional fondness for rap. To with her eventful star-studded and sometimes controversial life, the Duchess of Kent remains a beloved figure known for following her heart and finding joy in her unique path.